Well, hello again, and we are back in Zoho Creator. Uh, we just did a little contact form and put that on our website. Uh, now I want to do something a little different. Uh, what if on your website you would like to gather information and then after that information has been submitted, maybe you want to repost some of it on the internet. So I've created a little example here. Let's say I'm a math teacher and I want my students to be able to submit practice problems that maybe they are having trouble with or they want to try to stump their other friends. Um, they submit those problems in an online on an online form and then I want to post those problems that have been submitted. I want to post those back to my website and let other uh, students be able to look at them and then possibly uh, answer them and you know we could have extra credit or um, or you know stuff like that. So I've seen this used before for uh, for book reports. So students submitting their book reports via the form, and then the book report is posted back on the website, almost like a book review, um, so that the other students can read about uh, 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 read the report that another student had created. Um, so uh, I've already gone through and created a form. Let me just show it to you quick. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna recreate this, but I just went through uh, a place to put a name in, a place to choose what class you're part of, what kind of a, a question it is, just a, a really simply just an area to write the question, then the answer, and then of course our verification code to make sure that uh, nobody is uh, we're not getting spammed. Okay, now so we've done that before, but now I've just created this this new form. And uh, every time you create a form, you get this view over here. So there's my form, the practice problems one, and then the one below it here is the uh, practice problem view. So I went ahead and entered in a couple of uh, a couple of samples into this form, and there they're recorded kind of in this database. Now this view that has come up here, um, I can embed this view or this table, this little database um, thing here, I can embed it just like it is on my website if I want uh, and it's pr quite easy to do. So you go to more actions here and just to embed in your website and select that code, go back and paste it in your website. Um, unfortunately though, that's not quite what I want. I don't really you know care if the name I don't really want the name to show up some of the stuff I don't need doesn't need to show up um, especially the, I don't want the answers to show up okay um, so I want to sort of create a custom view here for uh, so that it doesn't show all of these columns and maybe even let me uh, you know do some other stuff here as well um, okay so uh, I'm just going to go in back to back to here to my main um, Place where I can edit this application. So up here along the top, you can see it says edit this application. Um, this is back where I built um, the form. And there's a tab across the top here that says views. Now you can see there's already one. That's the default view that we just looked at. So view just means, you know, looking at the database where the where the data has been when it's been submitted from the web, via the web, how it goes into the database. So I want to create a new view. Okay, and let's just say this. This is my um, practice problems, and it's the web view. And again, I just want to create a list, so it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Um, and I want it to come from the practice problems uh, uh, form. Okay, so I'm going to get that created. Okay, so that's created now. Uh, and I can see the form showing up just like this. Now, I don't want all these columns here. Um, so I can go over here and say display properties. You can see I can have 100 records per page. Nah, I don't think I'm going to need that many. Maybe 10 per page is enough. Um, and I'm going to go to column properties. Now you can see I um, can see all the columns here. So the things I don't need here is the answer. I don't need the type of the problem. Um, I don't think I'm going to have this. Nah, I could have the student's name. That show, that'll say OK and uh, choose your class, that's okay as well. So maybe I'll just have just those forms and I think I want the um, uh, just those. So I'm going to say done. So now I, that data will still be inside of my um, you know, it's still inside of my 
database, but I'm just creating a form that I'm going to put back on, or a view that I'm going to put back onto my website so other students can look and try these things. So, okay, column widths here. Um, I'm going to just make these a little smaller. So maybe uh, I only need 100 pixels wide for the uh, name, maybe 100 pixels wide for the uh, what class they're in, and then I'll just let the problem be the auto, and that should stretch to the rest of the the rest of the size. <clears throat> okay, so let's just let that um, go ahead and calculate up. Uh, hopefully that didn't get hung. Let me just try that again. So I'm just customizing it so that uh, um, so that when it displays, it'll look a little bit nicer. All right, so I'm just going to refresh this. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to just go back and set those column widths. Those look okay. Um, Seems to get hung up at that spot. Okay, so now I've got less uh, less space here. It looks like uh, I'm going to actually set a uh, value here, maybe of 300. Um, the auto, not sure if it's accurately represented here. Okay, now. Um, now that I have this sort of customized how I want it, um, if I go back out and access this application, you can see here um, that I have another view that shows up and it's giving me a preview of it. Okay, so there's my preview, um, and I might, you know, I could edit a little bit uh, that each one of these records, if that, you know, if I needed to fix somebody's record, I could edit that. But what I really want to do now is set this up so that I can now have this content show up on my website. All right, so under more actions there, there is just a uh, one that says embed. Okay, and uh, I think I don't need, uh, you know, search. I don't need record, su record summary. So I'm just going to take a few things off it. There's multiple pages. At least I want some multiple pages there. So I'm going to copy all of this stuff jump over to Dreamweaver and um, I've got this page set up here called view problems where I'm going to paste in that code so this is where my visitors will come to actually see the problems that uh, you know each other have submitted so I'm going to go into the code to find the spot there I'm going to paste it into there okay um, Alright, so go back to design view. There's my setup. I'm going to save this and preview in the browser, see how we look so far. Okay, and there you can see um, how it would show up to my visitor. Um, now I'm logged in, so I'm seeing these edit buttons. Those, those wouldn't show up. A few of these buttons would not show up. Um, and I can see two of my problems there, and just the columns that I want to show up are showing up. And I can certainly go in here, uh, and my, the visitor, when they come, this little filter is here, so things, oh, you know, just show me all the uh, problems for the jump that have been labeled geometry. And you can see it just does a, uh, it does a filter there for them, um, or just show me all of them. Uh, and if there was multiple pages, I would get multiple pages of stuff there. Some of these add, bulk edit, duplicate, delete, um, will go away. Although I think this add one stays, because if somebody says, oh, I want to put my, I want to put, uh, a problem in or a record in, they can click add and it opens right up, and they don't have to navigate back to the other uh, the other input page. So you can see now I've created a little system where I can have one page where my um, students, visitors come, they can give put information in, and then I have another page here where I can publish that information back onto my website. So um, you might you know take surveys or um, have reports come in this way or <clears throat> uh, there, I think there's or have problems like this brain teasers come in uh, and then republish those out there to make them make them more uh, uh, more accessible to your students okay that's it